What's going on YouTube? Collator, aka Smooth Flipper. This video, I'm going to be talking about phones that I buy and phones that I don't buy. So this is a requested video um, by one of my followers and has also been a, uh, a good topic, you know, or a hot topic for the Facebook groups. Um, and people are always wanting to know, you know, what phones I, I buy and what phones I don't buy. So I have a little list. I'm going to go over the, the models and um, carriers that I buy and don't buy. So number one on the list, uh, Apple phones that I buy. I, I buy iPhones um, as you should. You know, iPhones uh, holding, holding their value pretty well right now. Um, you know, they, they, they're expensive and uh, a lot of people have more iPhones than they do Android. So, um, the, the, the models that I'm starting to stick with is iPhone 6 and newer. So, iPhone 6 through the X, I'm not buying 5S's anymore, uh, 5's, 4, you know, 4S's. Um, if you are just starting out and don't have much money, you know, you have 40 bucks to your name, then go ahead and buy, um, iPhone 5 and 5s you can buy those all day for 35 bucks to sell them for 80 you know you can make you can make pretty good profit just to get your capital up um, so yeah definitely iPhones uh, another phone that I do buy uh, Samsung's you know which is next in line after uh, iPhone so the Samsung models that I buy uh, s6 through s8 plus and for the note the notes I buy the note 4 all the way to the note 8 um, like I said if you don't have much capital note 3 sells well um, and you can get some s5s for pretty cheap as well um, I've seen some s4s you know uh, go for pretty cheap if you can get them for like 10 bucks 5 or 10 bucks and they're, and they're in working condition then uh, why not you know you can make some good profit but I mean I'm at a point where I don't need to you know go out and buy a phone or, you know, meet somebody to make $25. I did in the past, you know, I did when I first started, uh, as you should, you know, don't turn down phones, uh, especially when you're first starting, you, you have to get that capital up to, to the point where you can go out and buy, you know, five, uh, iPhone, you know, eight pluses in one day. That's, that's when, you know, you got good capital. So Samsung for sure. Uh, LG, LGs are also a good, you know, model that I buy. Um, and you can get them for fairly cheap because it's it's LG. Not many people um, value that, you know, that model as well or as much. So the models that I do stick to is the G, the G4 through the G6, um, and then they have the V10, the V20, and the V30 that just came out. Um, I stick to those models. I haven't bought a V30 yet, um, mm -hmm. but LG does hold um, pretty good value when it comes to those type of phones. Mm -hmm. They do have some I sold a phone on eBay. Um, they do have, you know, uh, the cheaper prepaid type phones, um, and I don't I don't deal with those. You know, like I said, I don't need to deal with those because I'm getting a lot of higher end phones right now. Um, but it, like I said, if you're starting out, go for it. Next, Google uh, Google Pixel. Um, I've only bought a couple of Pixels. I, for some reason, I haven't came across them. I know I will come across a lot more Pixel 2s because that phone is a, is a great phone. Um, I checked it out. Um, but yeah, the camera is crazy good. And I know people will jump on that um, just, for the, just for the camera. But, you know, time runs out for phones and people are going to start selling them. So I can't wait till I get those calls. Now we're gonna go over phones that I don't buy. Um, I try to buy as much as I can, you know. But like I say, I'm at a point where I don't need to drive or meet somebody for thirty dollars profit. I, I feel like I, that's that's time I could be, you know, doing something else, working on another skill that I, that I want to improve, something something that's more valuable than just thirty dollars. Um, but if you're, if you're, like I said, if you are in high school or, you know, you don't have capital at all, then don't turn down phones. But this is the list of phones that I don't buy. So I do not buy non-working anymore 
at all. Don't buy non-working at all. Um, just ran, you know, just had a lot, had like a lot of problems with the non-working thing. I used to buy them and, you know, I would appraise them and, and sell them as, you know, bad LCD, non-working, no power, did, did not know, you know, the reason for the no power. Um, unless I had to take the phone apart and I don't want to do all that. So I would just, you know, say no power, bad LCD, you know, sell the phone on eBay um, to realize that I did mention it was water damage. And that's why it's not working because it's water damage. So I don't buy non-working anymore because it's just a hassle and they don't, they don't sell for that much unless you're getting like a iPhone X or, or, or a seven, a seven through X, you know, or iPhone, then um, anything under that, they're not selling that well. So I don't waste my time anymore. Uh, another one that I don't buy, flip phones. I get a lot of people who, who um, message me and say, hey, I got a couple of flip phones um, to, to sell you. And I think I've seen a couple of lots. You know, you can, you can buy a bunch of flip phones and throw them in a lot and, you know, make some good money like that. But, you know, to, to for me to go out and buy flip phones individually, then I think that's not a good idea um, or a good business move on my perspective. But like I said, you guys can, you guys can, uh, pick and choose what you want to buy. Um, lastly, I don't buy anything selling for $40 and below on eBay. Um, and that's, that should be, you know, pretty simple and easy, uh, as to why I don't, you know, you sell it for 40 bucks on eBay. Um, you're probably going to get $30 back after fees and shipping. You have to either, you know, buy that phone for five or ten dollars to make a twenty, twenty-five dollar profit. Which, you know, if they're if they're, you know, coming to you and you know you don't have much money but five dollars, then turn that five into to forty and work from and work from there. But um, anything selling under forty, I don't think it's I don't think it's worth it at all. You know, you gotta go. You have to ship it. You have to go to the post office. You have to, you know, print the label. Um, listed. Um, I don't think that's worth it, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, guys, this is, uh, you know, that's it for the video. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. But yeah, those are the phones that I buy and phones that I don't buy. Um, as far as this video goes, you know, this is just, this is just from my perspective. You know, if you do buy non-working phones, then continue to buy them. But I'm just giving you guys my experience um, and, you know, my thoughts on this, these topics. So if you enjoy the video, please drop a like, comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Check out that course in the description and I will catch you guys in the next video.